I watched him while he took the gun and went to where the Yelin was lying. Then I couldn't watch no more. I turned away. I heard the shot. And when I looked again, the boy was gone. Three days and nights. Just about the lowest time in my life. Me held to the house, hardly able to walk. In a small hunting for the boy, high and low, half out in the mine. And then the third night. Ori, is that you, Ori? It's me. It's Jody. What? Jody? Come close. A boy we knew about give you out. You all right? I'm all right. You all right. You ain't dead nor gone. You all right. Glory be. I had to come home. Why, sure you did. I ain't been what I said. Hating you. Why, sure you ain't. Jody, you figured I went back on you. That's why you run away. Son, there's a thing every man's got to know. Maybe you know it already. Part only me. Part only a yearling deer happened to be destroyed. Boy, life goes back on you. Yes, sir. I reckon. A man's heart aches seeing his young'uns face the world, knowing they got to get their insides tore out the way his was tore. I wanted to spare you as long as I could. I wanted you to frolic with your yearl, and I, I know the lonesomeness be easier for you. But every man's lonesome. Well, what's he to do then? What's he to do when he gets knocked down? Why, well, take it for a share and go on. I'm ashamed I went off. Oh, it's food and drink to have you home, boy. Now, you get to bed and get your rest, and I'll sit here and wait for you more. Yes, sir. Night. Night, Pa. I'll start the corn early in the morning. Yes, boy. We'll make it, Pa. We'll make out. Yes, boy. Night. Good night, my son. Esri. Maury. He was standing there. You heard him. <laughs> Esri, he's come back. <laughs> I thought he'd gone. I thought I'd lost them all. But he's come back. He's come back. Yes. But he's done come back different. He's taken to punishment. Ori, our little boy, ain't a yearling no longer. Ma. Jody. You done come back. Yes, Ma. I'm grateful. Thank you, Gregory Peck, Jane Wyman, and Claude Jarman for your deeply moving performances. And that brings us quite fittingly to... The Red Book Magazine Awards for 1946. As you all know, Red Book Magazine makes an annual award, a beautiful silver cup, for the picture it considers the outstanding screen achievement of the year. And here is Mr. Charles Brackett, who with his partner, Mr. Billy Wilder, won the cup last year for their paramount picture, The Lost Weekend. Thank you. And speaking for Billy Wilder as well as myself, I congratulate Red Book on his choice. We both enjoyed the yearling tremendously. It is a picture of overpowering visual beauty, and it is more than that. It is a story of great people, and it is told with a warmth and tenderness and love which rarely find their way into celluloid. It gives me exceptional pleasure to pass on the Red Book Cup to the men who brought the yearling to the screen with such consummate artistry to Mr. Sidney Franklin, the producer, and to Mr. Clarence Brown, the director. Thank you, Mr. Brackett. And though Sidney Franklin is snowbound in New Mexico tonight, I'm sure he's as happy as I am right now. Of course, we're both honored to receive an award like this, which is held in such high esteem in our profession. But I must confess there's more to it than that. This cup is not only a reward, it's a challenge. 
and I'm sure that Sidney and I will look at it someday and wonder if we ever again will make a picture as good as a yearling. Well, Mr. Brown, you've set yourself a very high standard. The story from Marjorie Kinnan Rawlins' book, those performances, that breathtaking photography, the lovely symphonic music, the scenes in the forest, the bear fight, the woodland ballet, none of which could be shown tonight. They all add up to make the yearling one of the great classics of the screen. We think so too, Mr. Brackett. And I'm sure that Mr. and Mrs. American audience, when they see it, will agree that it's not only the finest picture of this year, but of a good many years. Well, naturally, we're proud of it. And on behalf of Sidney Franklin and myself, may I tell you now how much we owe to so many others, to Greg and Jane, little Claude Jarman, for their inspiring performances, to Paul Osborne for a magnificent screenplay, to Herbert Stothard for a glorious musical score, and, above all, to the man who, for eight years, in spite of delay and disappointment and terrific odds, never once lost faith or his enthusiasm. I mean, of course, the heart and mind of our studio, Mr. Louis B. Mayer. For him, for all of us. Our thanks to Red Book and to Lady Esther. Good night. was produced and directed for Lady Esther by Bill Lawrence and adapted by Harry Cronman. Music on tonight's program was arranged and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. This is Truman Bradley speaking for Lady Esther. Thank you and good night. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.